Hey there guys and welcome to another live 2D tutorial. We're going to go into how we can swap out elements of our model without having to redo any of the parameters we've made previously. As you can see, this is a fully made live 2D model for face rig, has eye blinks and everything. But if you wanted to add elements to our model or change colors maybe of your character, in my case, what I want to show you is how to change the color of my character's body. But there are lots of different uses for this method. Say, for example, you have a live 2D model where you want to change up the hairstyle. You want to maybe give it different accessories or maybe give it more accessories. This is the way you would do it. Now, make all the edits you want to make. In my case, I have changed the color of my character's body, jelly body. And I've also added some additional expressions. I've got all of the original stuff here as well. And I just kept it pretty much all the same. I've got uh, another folder that just says extra. So literally make all the edits you would like to make with your current model. And when you go to save it as a PSD, call your PSD something else. And this is actually very important. For some reason, Live 2D does not like it when you use the same PSD file, it will not replace the assets for you if you use the same PSD name. So in my case, I saved it as Jelly Face Rig 2020 underscore 2. Then you go back into Live 2D. Now locate your second PSD file for your Live 2D model with the edits and drag it into the main scene like we did before when we first started this face rig. Now you'll have another dialog box pop up. Click on Jelly Face Rig 2020. This will be the original name and file of your Live 2D model when you started. So click on it. Then go on Replace Jelly Face Rig 2020.psd. And there you go, it's actually done the swap for you. Like I say, it's quite crucial to make sure that you have that second PSD file. Don't use the same PSD file that you started with. Make sure that you gave it a different name, which is pretty good because it means you still got a backup of your previous face rig anyway, but you got to have another PSD file for it to work properly. So in this case, we now have a new folder. They actually replaced the body for you. As you can see, the blue body that I've changed is now down here and the pink one has now gone. We now have the expressions here. You can't really see them because it's so white, but they're there. So you can literally add it to the current folders. It's no problem. You can even delete this folder. That'd be no problem at all because everything is in place and will function as normal. Of course, since this is a new expression, you will have to give it another deformer for it to work and give it vertices and such. Now, if we go into the texture atlas, we can see that the body has been replaced as well. So the pink body that we once had is no longer there anymore. So you don't have to worry about that. But in the case of these new expressions that I've added, we have to add that to the texture atlas for it to work and appear on your face rig. So to be able to do that, all you have to do is double click on those pieces and go on automatic layout and they will have added it. You can't see it again because it's white. I'm sorry, I should have inked them, but they're there, but they do need vertices. Like I say, that's why you got like these little diagonal lines in the box because they still need to be given vertices. But that's pretty much it. Another thing to bear in mind as well when you make the edits, make sure that they're named exactly the same as the previous Live 2D model layers. This is Live 2D's way of being able to recognize what you're trying to replace without you having to do the additional work. Now, if you did decide to use the same PSD file, it can still be imported the same way, but it won't replace the assets for you. You would have to manually put the new assets into the deformers 
that are already set in place with their values and just basically do it by hand completely. Now, that's not too much of a big deal, really, but it's no getting away from the fact that if you just named your layers, you're saving yourself a job. So make sure that the layers are called the same as the original model layer names. So say, for example, if you were changing the hair colour, make sure that it's named the same as the previous hair in the last model. But of course, if you have any drastic changes, like say, for example, you've got really big hair, it's a different hairstyle, or maybe the accessories are a lot bigger, maybe there's a lot more to consider with them, then you may have to actually go in and edit the deformers and edit things manually. So there's no need to redo your live 2D model as long as you follow these steps. But bear in mind, if the changes are quite complex, be prepared to make edits along the way. So yeah, I hope that was helpful, guys. I wanted to make this a short one. I feel like this was also one of the most important ones to throw in as well. I know that if I want to make certain edits to my model, I don't want to be redoing it from scratch. So this is incredibly useful and appropriate if you're wanting to change your character's features in any way and just add to an existing model. So with that guys, thank you all so much for watching the video, I hope it was helpful. In the next videos we'll probably go into more complex stuff, so it will involve things like how to animate human eyes, more complex mouth shapes, just general body formation and how you can get that moving in a face rig circumstance. So I hope to catch you then guys. And again, thank you all so much for the support. It means a lot. If you like the video, please thumbs up, like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more content in the very near future. See you later guys. Bye bye.